Hello techies. In this tutorial, we will learn few concepts about on-premise data gateway. First one, what is on-premise data gateway? Second one, how to download on-premises data gateway? Third one, how to install and configure on-premise data gateway? First of all, we will start with what is on-premises data gateway? On-premises data gateway acts as a bridge between Microsoft Cloud Services and on-premises data to provide quick and secure data transfer between cloud services and on-premise data. If we observe Microsoft Cloud Services such as Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Azure Analysis Services, and Azure Logic Apps. By using a gateway, organizations can keep databases and other data sources on their on-premise networks, yet securely uses that on-premise data in cloud services. The main purpose of on-premise data gateway is to secure data transfer between cloud and on-premise. In our case, we are using Power Automate Desktop as on-premises. All right. There are three different types of gateways we have. One is on-premise data gateway. Second one, on-premises data gateway in personal mode. And third one, virtual network data gateway. Let me explain one by one about these data gateways. Let me start with on-premises data gateway. This gateway allows multiple users to connect to multiple on-premise data sources. With a single gateway installation, you can use an on-premises data gateway with all supported services. This gateway is suitable to complex scenarios in which multiple people access multiple data sources. All right. Now we will learn about on-premises data gateway in personal mode. This on-premise data gateway personal mode allows one user to connect to sources and cannot be shared with others. An on-premise data gateway with the personal mode can be used only with Power BI. This gateway is well suited to the scenarios in which you are only one person who creates the reports and you don't need to share any data sources with others. In that case, you are going to use on-premises data gateway with personal mode. Now, we have the another data gateway that is virtual network data gateway. This gateway allows multiple users to connect to multiple data sources that are secured by virtual networks. We don't need to install any kind of gateways. This will be automatically taken care by the Microsoft managed service. This gateway is well suited to complex scenarios in which multiple people access multiple data sources. All right. Now I will show you how to download on-premises data gateway. Let's switch to browser and there I'm going to use flow.microsoft.com. After successful login into that, go to my flows over here. Once you have clicked on my flows, there you can see I'm having cloud flows, desktop flows, business process flows and shared with me. These are all the flows which we have in the Power Automate. On the right hand side, if you see over here, I'm having a button install. Let's click on the drop down. There you can see I'm having Power Automate for desktop and there you can see on-premise data gateway, which provides the quick and secure data bridge between on-premise data and Microsoft Cloud Services. This is the one which we need to download for on-premise data gateway. Let's click on that. Now, if you see, there's the installation agent progress. It will take a little bit time to download. Once it has been downloaded, you can get the exe file on your download folder on your desktop. All right. We have already downloaded on-premises data gateway successfully. Now, I will show you how to install and configure on-premises data gateway. 
let's go to the folder where you have downloaded the gateway there we'll find the on-premise data gateway exe let's double click on gateway install exe to install on-premises data gateway on your pc or on your virtual machine let's double click on that you can get on-premises data gateway installation process there you can see getting ready to install the on-premise data gateway before that you can go through the minimal requirement to install on-premise data gateway on your virtual machine or on your personal pc there if you see it is trying to install this on-premise data gateway in c program files on-premise data gateway folder i'm going to accept the terms of use and the privacy statement let's select that checkbox and then i'm going to click on install if you see over here it is trying to installing on-premise data gateway on your pc it will take a little bit time to process the installation now if you observe the gateway installation has done successfully on on-premises you can see over here we will get a message like that almost done installation was successful now i will show you how to configure on-premises data gateway before that let me switch to flow.microsoft.com now to see the gateways we are going to select data tab over here and there you can find data gateways and there you will find gateways click on that if you see over here i don't have any gateways which we have installed by using this power automate with my worker school account all right now once i will configure that you will get a gateway over here with the same name all right now i'm going to give the email address to you this gateway i'm going to give my corporate id over here and then i'm going to click on sign in i'm going to give respective password of the login and then i'm going to click on sign in and once the sign in has done successfully now you can see you are signed in as with your worker school account and then it is ready to register the gateway over here you can see there are two options i'm having one is register a new gateway on this computer or you can migrate restore or take over on existing gateways right now if you observe i don't have any gateways so that i'm going to register a new gateway on this computer all right let's click on next now i'm going to give the name over here as power automate desktop gateway if there is an existing gateway cluster then i'm going to select this checkbox if i don't have then i'm not going to select this checkbox to add an existing gateway cluster and i will give the recovery key over here with minimum of eight characters and after that i'm going to give it the same recovery key to confirm and then i'm going to click on configure now if you observe over here i got the gateway over here as power out my desktop gateway but still it is trying to configure the respective details which location you want to connect the gateway to the cloud services and the remaining things it is trying to configure at the same time in the flow.microsoft.com under the gateways also you found with the same name which we have just given for the on-premises data gateway name once the gateway has configured successfully now you can see over here the gateway with the name of power automate desktop hyphen gateway is online and it is ready to be used and you can see the version over here of the gateway we are having 3.1.1.16 that is october 2021 and you can see inside that i can use it logic apps azure analysis services to create a gateway in azure and also right now this gateway for the on-premises we can use it for the power apps and power automate which is located in central india and the default environment is for the power bi for the on-premise gateway we are having the details right and if you see the service settings over here if you want to restart the gateway it is recommended to restart the gateway every time you make the changes to the gateway configuration files now you can get the gateway service account it is working on nt service slash pb iegw service and if you want to change the account you can use the button over here change account and if you want to diagnostic 
there you are having the option over here to add additional logs and if you go for the network it is working on https mode and you can set the gateway to communicate through azure service bus also using https instead of directly using tcp and https is recommended for the on premise data gateway and once you can see the connectors over here all the custom data connectors will be located in your c drive windows service profiles inside the folder that is pbie gw service under that documents and you are using it for the power automate or power bi desktop in that case it will be given the respective folders over there and you can see the recovery keys also you can get the recovery keys over here this is how we are going to install and configure on premise data gateway on your personal computer or on the virtual machine all right now let's click on close now if you observe in the gateways that we got the name which we have just configured with the name of power automate desktop hyphen gateway in the next tutorial we will learn how to call the desktop flows by using power automate cloud flows with the help of gateway that is just we have created that is on premise data gateway all right i hope you understand what is on premise data gateway to secure our the connections or to secure our data and also we have seen how to download on premises data gateway and also we have seen how to install and configure on premise data gateway on our personal computer or on virtual machines there is no difference for the personal computer or for the virtual machine we have to follow the same steps as we have done as we have seen right now all right thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day